Cool. So we're we're live and there's people. There's people here. So can you hear me, Ray? Yes. Yeah, cool. But people can't hear you. Or people can hear you. Is that right? Yes. Cool. All right. Well, how, how many people are in the chat? What should we draw? Let me know. Hey, Lewis, how you doing? All right. So I have a plan, I think, anyway. I'm going to do an illustration. And I think I'm going to sort of do a, a an illustration based on these characters that is based off a set of thumbnails that I did ages and ages ago. So basically just going to pick one of these and then we'll go through the process and see how we go. And um, obviously there's a bunch of different thumbnails here. What I thought is we would try sort of this one. And the idea is that, again, we'll see how we go, but um, trying to create a big landscape image that I feel like might work for a sort of to, to fit on the wall at CDW. So that's kind of where I'm, that's kind of where I'm going with it. Um, wow. So you can see how big this canvas is. I've made this canvas huge. So if we just kind of, all I'm going to do is res this up and just sort of get the rough idea of where things are. So the, the, the basic idea is we're going to have, there's an archway that they're sort of going through and, and there'll be like a, an abandoned sort of city there. So these characters are basically these characters. There'll be no other characters in the scene, but the idea is this will be some sort of magical abandoned ancient city that they're kind of seeing. And um, again, there'll be a lot of sort of depth parallax and we'll sort of play that up again. You can kind of see that with the tail there. All right, the tail is going to sort of, again, add to that depth. So lots of um, lots of depth there. And again, there'll be a couple of challenges. One will be, um, you know, getting the pose for these characters right. I think managing the depth and, and telling the story of the archway will be a challenge. And then obviously we've got to sort of make this look like an interesting, interesting destination. So that's sort of what I've got in mind so anyway let me know if you guys have got any questions how's everyone been going is everyone uh, drawing every day and smashing it or uh have people de-evolved back into playing video games and not drawing let me know hopefully it's all going well so i'm just going to put this i'm just putting these things on on separate screens um so I can still see them. Uh, let me know how the stream quality is going as well, Ray. In terms, of, in terms of, yeah, like how? Very clear, concise. Cool. All right. So all, all I'm doing is just getting, the process I'm going to use is very simple. I, I'm basically just going to use a, like a, a small brush and we're just going to work it up. So it'll end up being really, really sort of, messy and sketchy this phase. Um, I don't have a grayscale version of this, but I don't think it'll be a problem because we're basically going to have the background be sort of light. The foreground is going to be sort of darker and, and more in shadow. Maybe, maybe we'll play with a bit of light in the foreground, but we can figure all of that. We can figure all of that stuff out at the final color phase, I reckon. So I'm not too worried about that. I'm happy to kind of play around with that later on. So all I'm gonna do now is do like a really basic transfer of what this thumbnail has got, right? So we've got some, and this seems like not a professional artist thing to do, right? Let's just do a really bad, sort of drawing here but um, it, it's actually really important to kind of do it that way because nothing here in this thumbnail is valuable it's all junk it's 
you know, there's nothing here that really is worthwhile, um, you know, taking forward or anything. So, yeah, we, we don't really have to worry about that. And I'm going to, I'm just going to extend this a little bit from side to side. Just because I feel like super wide is better. But this is going to create like a crazy, crazy big canvas. So the idea is I, I can leave it big as long as I don't do anything silly like, you know, leave these big, like I'll probably delete that. That's going to be pretty big. Um, and as soon as I'm finished transferring this, I'll delete that. Because when you're working at this resolution, even small little bits of, um, you know, sort of imagery will really, really drag the computer if it's kind of, you know, I guess, what is it now? Right, yeah, like sort of 15,000 by 6,000. Um, yeah, so I've got this, got some stuff here. And then we're going to have this background stuff. And yeah, I don't, I didn't really figure this out, right? So these thumbnails are done quite quickly. So most of this stuff in the background will have to change. And I don't really know what type of, you know, abandoned thing it will be. I haven't figured that out, but basically that's sort of all we really have, right? So we can pretty much delete that now and, and sort of go on what we've got here because that really is all, I'm just going to put a, another version of this on a separate screen so I can keep an eye on it. Yeah, that's all we've, that's all we really need. And basically, yeah, so mostly what we've got to do is just do some drawing. Firstly, think about sort of where that horizon line is. So it feels like, again, horizon line is below those characters. And I'm going to start by just Right, sort of blocking in some primary forms and I'm going to be, let's make sure I'm on the right layer. Yeah, and I'm going to be rough with it, right? Because that, that allows us to, to sort of move quickly. So yeah, it's basically this, this phase is, is not the, the pretty one, right? This is not the one that sort of looks good. Um, but I do think when we're trying to do this sort of thing, it is important to start messy, right? So start loose, start rough. And again, that way, we kind of don't care about it as much and you can be a little bit rougher, a little bit looser. So we're going to have the character here. And legs kind of over here. So I'm drawing through. And again, this also doesn't look super fancy or like, wow, that looks like so, like such good drawing. But again, just thinking it through. So when we're doing this kind of drawing, Part of it is I've sort of got to figure it out myself, right? And part of sort of the, the, the scribble sort of stage is, again, me figuring it out. So we think about that sort of where the horizon line is. Then 
what I need also is where that kind of center of vision is. Again, I'm just going to be rough with this, but this will allow me to start placing in some of that arch and to visualize the space a little bit more. So you can see that, again, I'm just being quite rough with that. But already, again, that's going to give me a pretty good indication yeah that that like that archway is actually working which is kind of interesting because i didn't think it would work in perspective but if we kind of trace the back and the front of it and we transfer that across right that means i've sort of put that vanishing point in a decent spot relative to, to that sort of initial sketch. Now, I also know that I'm definitely going to, you know, I'm not going to use any of these lines that I'm doing now. So I can be pretty, can be pretty rough with it and not worry at all. That I'm going to mess anything up. So again, I'm just doing these by hand because I feel like that will just kind of avoid, you know, thinking about this in, in a too technical manner. And also it kind of really um, again just makes it feel a little bit more traditional. So again, the idea is they're kind of going like down a little bit. And again, as, uh, as anyone who studies at CDW knows that the most important thing to begin with is to kind of get that box right. All right, so we need to kind of make sure that the box that the characters are sort of sitting in is kind of a, a decent box. So I feel like at the moment it's a bit um, yeah it's a it's not quite as it's not quite looking to me right so when I'm not going to measure it but I am just going to play around with it a little bit and again try and place characters so everything here is proportion right it's like it's like placing the characters and again if you remember what they sort of look like we have to place all of these things. All right, so that's that's basically the game is get all of these, get all of those different elements working. Cool. And again, the, the goal for today is just sort of get through as much of this as, you know, as we can. There's not, um, not really much that we can do besides that. Um, I, I'm not sure how long this will kind of take because um, I'm, I'm going to try and make sure, you know, that we get like a good, you know, like a good level of polish on it. But yeah, so you can sort of see if I was to draw a box around this whole thing, that's a very long box. And I, and I don't I don't necessarily know how long that lion is, right? But yeah, I feel like we really need to pay attention to that, right? Something like that. But again, I, I feel like it's probably better if the head right is kind of turned so we sort of see the profile of the of the line again i don't really have any idea what lines look like right now it's been a while it's going to look a bit like a cat i guess um so it's a similar sort of idea to that previous image that i did where we kind of see that like the character is very much sort of coming at us into the you know into the frame 
again, the first step is just to kind of block it in and see, see whether the space works. So just doing a bit more of that kind of that sort of thing here. Right, just making sure that these These are working again. Not, not entirely convinced about that. But I think in general, this right, like this line has to kind of come up a bit. Maybe something more like that. And along the ground. Right, we're gonna get something, something like that. Now, there's lots of different things we could do here, right? Like we we could, so I guess the question is like, is it a one point perspective image? Is it a, is it a sort of 1.5 perspective image? Cause, Cause I'm not really, I'm not really looking at these um, lines here going towards any sort of vanishing point. But, you know, I could sort of, you know, guesstimate, right? And sort of, you know, sort of say, well, these are kind of going, oh, that's slow. And these are kind of going that way. And I could just sort of, you know, add a bit of convergence. Um, or we could kind of keep it really sort of, you know, one point, right? So all these lines going across are just flat. I kind of want to sort of keep it pretty flat. I mean, I think that's, I think that's going to give us the sort of look that I want, although it is a bit weird. So yeah, those are the things I'm thinking about. And with, with, with any image like this, I think a huge part of it is just being able to break it down, right? If you can break down all the problems, then a lot of these things kind of we just take care of themselves. It's easy to get sort of overwhelmed by it. So, got, got a thing here, right? And the idea is that we're going to have right these sort of blocks building up like that. That's the idea anyway. Um, but a, a lot of what I feel like you need to do initially it, it is again, just no pun intended, block everything out. So, you know, if, if we start, if I start worrying too much about like, oh, what's the size of this? What's the size of that? Um, Again, that's it's no. There's no real guarantee that that's going to lead to like an effective solution. If I block it all out, then what will happen is I'll see it. I'll start to be able to see the like what's happening. And I'll start to be able to kind of make some decisions. So if we sort of progress, but progress quickly and roughly, that is very likely to give us the best sort of solution. Um, and again, that, that depends, you know, if you've done more work up to this point, then that might not matter, right? Hey, Tim, don't forget to check the chat check the chat oh yeah the chat that's right there's people it says how do i get to see who who's who it's just saying random facebook users 
Um, cool. How's the holidays going? Well, I don't, I don't, you guys have holidays. I, I just have normally more work to do, but they're, they're going quite well because at least I, um, I don't have to log in at any particular time, which I quite enjoy. Never been a fan of the schedule, but yeah, it's going well. I finally started my YouTube channel. So that's mostly what I've been doing is just going into YouTube land and uh, designing spaceships and uh, other stuff I can't sort of talk about. But yeah, it's going, going well. How, how's the summer? Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's good. I, I, I do like the summer when it gets really hot. But yeah, it's the, it, I, I guess it's the holiday season in, in, in Australia. It's the, yeah, I think I might actually go on some holidays at some point soon. I haven't been on a holiday for a long time. Yeah. More importantly, how's, how's your holidays going? Cause I'm assuming, yeah, I'm assuming most of the people in the chat are, are CDW sort of people. Let me know if you're, let me know who, if, if anyone's there, who's, who's like not um, CDW student, let me know. Let me know. Um, Again, what you're up to. If, if anyone's got questions, let me know. Like ping me, ping me in the chat. Let's see if I can just make sure this, the chat is visible. I'll put it on a different screen. Should do TikTok. Everyone keeps saying keep do do TikTok. I I don't know. I feel like I'm getting old. I don't like TikTok. Yeah, everyone keeps saying you should do TikTok. It's it's where all the kids are. Um yeah. Let let me know if if you think what what would you do on TikTok? Like is, like how many how many of you people are on or like on TikTok looking at um art like tips and stuff like that on TikTok? There, there's I know there's a lot of people doing that. I know they have. I, I know it does work. I know that a lot of people are on there, and it it is you know there's a lot of value there. <laughs> trust me, I I need more than trust. I need some. <laughs> A bit more than that. Yeah, the time lapses and stuff. Does he? What, what does Bobby Chu do on TikTok? Is it any different for anything else? Because I know a lot of people are just sort of just putting, it's like, oh, whatever I put on Instagram or whatever. Um, you know, they just kind of put on TikTok as well. Yeah, I mean, I, I think TikTok is still is still sort of new. Yeah, so same same sort of stuff as as Instagram. Yeah, Instagram's Instagram's really good, but. It's it's another one of those Facebook properties, right? Like it's um, you you don't get really much control. Like they keep sort of changing stuff and taking it away. I kind of like YouTube because it's a bit more, it's a bit more direct.
um, talking about whether or not I am sort of going to go back to teaching character design and stuff. Not, not anytime soon. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sort of not, I, I'm severely lacking time. So yeah, I think like so far the, the idea is just boot camp. If, if I can, if I can manage boot camp. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, this is the kind of thing people say is like, just take, just take the, the YouTube stuff and sort of cut it down. And the problem is, I mean, this is not, this is like much more inside baseball, but like that stuff takes time. So unless I think a lot of those people are, are paying people to do it, um, you know, it's like, I, I don't know how much Bobby Chu is actually going there or any of those people are actually sitting there and, um, you know, editing software doing that themselves i think it's often they're kind of paying people to um repurpose content chop it up and people have sort of social media managers and stuff like that um which is kind of cool but i'm not really i don't really sort of have that um, amount of time Yeah, it's um so it's like it's like the editing. It takes time, like doing all that. It, it's it's like even just sort of putting stuff on Instagram takes time. Um, you know, it's like it's an extra half an hour out of the day to sort of make the JPEGs. Um, you know, make them the right size, put in the hashtags. It, it's and I think it's like if you just do one or two of those things. And this is probably relates to what you guys will be doing as well, you know, is because to a certain degree, it's kind of as artists these days, it seems like keeping a social media presence is part of the game, right? Um, yeah, it's hard to know whether like spending heaps of time on that is, is worth it. Because again, it seems like, oh, it's just 10 minutes here and it's five minutes there. But once you add that up, um, you know, it, it's a lot of time spent doing that. Um, and yeah, it can be, like, I always just worry, you know, like, is, is it actually making a difference? Because I mean, for instance, I found that, you know, if, if you're not trying to do anything, like if you're just trying to get jobs at companies and stuff like that, like Instagram is almost completely worthless. Like it's, and I think I've said this before. So if you've got, if you've got a few followers on all those sort of things, it, it makes a big difference. Like if you've got nothing, it's, it's sort of not good, but you know, the difference between having 5,000 and 500,000 followers on Instagram and your ability to like get freelance work is zero. I, I would say that that's how I would sort of say it. Uh, it's not, it's not going to make any difference. So you, you got to know like which things are actually going to make a difference. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I, I'd love to be doing just repurposing stuff and chopping stuff up and putting it on, um, putting it on TikTok and all, all that sort of stuff that, that a lot of people do. Um, I think the reality is it, it, it takes a lot of time. Do you know what I mean? Um, and, and then the danger is if you do a lot of that, again, this is just me inside baseball. The danger is if you do a lot of that, you get really good at editing video and you start sucking at drawing because you're not spending any time actually drawing or, or doing work. So I, I think it's a bit of a trap. The social media stuff is like, you know, unless you're fully outsourcing it, it's, it's a bit of a trap. Um, yeah, anyway. But I, I do like TikTok as a as a um as a crazy sort of experiment thing. But but also it's um it, it's I think a lot of these is is you know like do do the stuff that you you understand and you enjoy. You know, like if you like TikTok, then you know do stuff on TikTok and you know try promote your work that way because you're more likely to find other people who also like that and kind of you know, they're more likely to, to be like you, I guess. So 
again, I'm doing too much talking and I'm not really paying much attention to the to the uh, to what's going on here. This this thing looks super boring. Like this this my spidey sense is going off and it's saying, what is this? What is this? What's going on? Um, um, but again, that's part of the process, right? So we're just sort of building these things out and sort of, you know, like seeing, seeing what happens. I feel like, again, it's just, but to a certain degree also, like it's just sort of saying this needs something interesting here. So, so maybe it'll be like a, maybe some sort of vines or some sort of tree is like breaking it down. Cause again, we, we need to tell the story of the, the ruins, right? So I'm going to transfer this little box thing here, right? This sort of pillar, All right? I'm just going to guesstimate that depth over here. Right, we find that there, we find that there and rotate so we can sort of hit, right, bang, bang. All right. We've got something like this. Blue turtle. So yeah, someone was saying that's like someone who has some cool stuff on. Um... Oh yeah, yeah, that's cool. I think it's like blue turtle design .com. Some cool work with the again, probably similar influences, right? Yeah, cool. No, oh, that does look good. It's a really simple style. Yeah, I'll check that out. All right, transfer this thing over. So again, one point perspective makes makes this stuff all right a lot all right a lot easier because I'm not I'm not playing around with trying to you know line stuff up. All right. Yeah, I don't I don't know what the what the name is. All right. So if we sort of zoom out Again, there's, there's a there's a certain degree to where I'm like, eh, not entirely. Like this, like this thing looks small now. I feel like maybe these things are like a little bit big. Anyway, just thinking. So, 
again, as we progress through, I'm, I'm sort of making decisions. This is not this is not the process that I would use for a you know professional illustration, as it were. And again, let's, so I feel like this, this works better, All right? Like this is not, this stuff is not, is not helping. This stuff is not helping. So yeah, I'm not sure whether I want, yeah, I feel like, Again, this is where it's like words don't work very well, right? But I feel like like having this be more compact, I think, works well. We'll have some sort of grass here. And again, we can tell that story of depth with, you know, overlapping bits of grass and, and these kind of things. And, and that'll help us tell as well that like, you know, people haven't walked through here a lot. So, you know, if we sort of try and talk about, you know, how are we going to make it feel abandoned? Just sort of having some grass that will help us tell that story, right? So we can sort of put some flowers and like sort of bigger weeds here. And that kind of says that people, you know, this these guys aren't, traveling through here a lot, right? That this is maybe like the first time in a while someone's kind of stepped here. Um, so yeah, I mean, I feel like that, like the, the, the sort of the lion or the cat just kind of being like more static, I think works, right? That's kind of what I want. I don't know why, but that's that's kind of that's kind of what in my mind is going to work better. And again, I like that there's a bit of a slope going down here. And again, we probably won't have buildings start until we sort of get here. So the question is like designing this, right? How do we design this to be interesting? Um, first, I feel like I need to, yeah, just kind of understand what's happening. I feel like the line, we need to draw this line better and really understand what's going to sort of happen with it. So we're going to have the main, right? Because that's the other thing is, you know, when I'm sort of drawing the, the main structure of the cat, like the bone, I, we're not seeing the mass, but, you know, I got to remember, I always got to remember, again, we're going to have like a big sort of main on the character there. And then we're going to have this character, right? The little sort of warrior guy is going to be sort of here. And again, I'm always using this basic sort of idea, right? Just sort of torso plus head, and that can kind of tell us roughly where things are. It obviously doesn't give us lots of anatomy, but it does tell us what's going on. And I'm just going to raise up. that character because I think the saddle is going to be a bit bigger and then we've got some of the saddle structure and we've got the two sort of other characters sitting around and again they kind of you 
are going to be sitting differently. So this is where, again, like the, the, the micro, like secondary form composition stuff becomes very important because like we have to place the characters, but I need to make sure that I'm placing them so that we get some nice tangents. So if we look at the micro composition of this, I'm going to have line here, and this is basically going to be in shadow, right? So we're going to have this kind of shape that kind of looks like this, right? This is the silhouette that's being created. And this is, these are the problems that we're sort of solving at the moment. So this character will be facing this way. We'll see the back of their head. Maybe they'll be turned just a bit, right? So we can kind of maybe, again, not sure, but either way, we'll sort of see the back of the torso there. This one, I want to sort of be facing out. And I think part of the story there will be that like these characters, like none of these characters are that interested in what's happening. So that's part of the intrigue is like, they're not that interested in this fancy abandoned thing. They're just kind of traveling around and, you know, maybe this is, this is kind of like what they do for a living, right? So it's, it's not super exciting to them. And, and to a certain degree, that's, that's kind of what's interesting about it. Um, and this character will kind of be facing this way, right? So it's almost like these characters are kind of talking to each other. And you know, may maybe they're looking around, we'll, we'll see. But like they, they were talking to each other, right? Like this is kind of what they're this is kind of what they're doing. So this character will sort of be in the shade. And in terms of lighting, again, I feel like this whole, if you sort of th if if you sort of think about it, right? We're going to have something. Uh, I better do that on a separate layer. Otherwise, I'll regret it. Um. Let's do. Multiply. Yeah. So we're going to have something sort of like this. Right? Like that's, that's, that's the shadow form. And then kind of what I'm thinking is like, maybe I want, right? Like a, a bit of stuff in the, in the foreground here. Right, maybe some stuff here. And the idea is that that will kind of carry on to the tail, right? So the tail will kind of pick up some light. Right something like that again maybe it'll go back into shadow there now I, I don't know whether that will work okay that's just that's just me kind of thinking like that might be cool and then we could actually sort of cut this out right so that we're having some sort of interesting shadow play so this also helps us pop out the silhouette of the of the tail Right, so it'll be stuff like that. Now I don't know whether that'd be too distracting. Um, but that's the general. That's sort of kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah, we'll see how we'll see how that sort of plays out. And then in here, it'll be a mix. Right, there'll be sort of some stuff there that's a 
bit lighter. Right. So part of what we're doing here, anyway, that, that's a long way to go. The, the reason, and, and this is where it can be tricky if, you, if you're not used to sort of working in this kind of style. Um, but yeah, you can see here, that's what I'm trying to sort of organize is, is get these characters to be in the right spot. But that, that's obviously sort of dependent on where is this main character? Where is this main form? Like, where do I want this? So often in order to like refine this, we need to refine the secondary form in order to make sure, again, that these sort of silhouettes are going to work. We need to kind of, you know, position them. Because if this isn't going to work, you know, if, if this means that in order to get good separation here and can maintain good tangents, I need to kind of move these characters forward then it all will start to fall apart, right? <laughs> because they won't be sitting on the lion in the right spot. So that, that's where it sort of gets tricky, right? We're sort of balancing and juggling. And that's why, you know, we're just, just focusing on this sort of scribbly style, right? Because it, it's those are the decisions which are important. Um, and, and at some point, like their position becomes more important than where the lion's position is. And, and I'm more likely to kind of move the lion around. Anyway, that's the thought. So... can flip and yeah I mean I just feel like sort of getting right having some kind of sort of brokenness here will be kind of useful but again it's probably like easier to test whether that's an interesting idea if we do have this right like, does, does that actually help us? Or is it better to kind of maintain that sort of smooth arch? Because the, the arch is sort of somewhat, the arch is somewhat metaphorical, right? And, and it really kind of frames the image in a nice way. So it might be, right, it might be an idea not to, you know, hack this up too much or to have like a, again, like a uniform, amount of kind of hacking this up but it's very hard to see how that will sort of affect everything um, without doing that sort of silhouette test so um, I, I often sort of say that stuff but I don't often do it all right Cool. So again, I feel like that sort of positioning is kind of working okay. I, I, I'm not 100% convinced about the position of the of all of these limbs and things. Um, all right, so this would be another situation where there's like multiple, multiple concepts going on. One is like, well, we, we want like a nice interaction of like primary forms. The second thing we want is like, obviously an interesting design language or right we want something interesting to be sort of happening here um and th there's there's many many ways to 
like sort of ideate or, or figure out what we're going to do there. Um, what I'm going to try here, again, I've just got this as a separate layer, is just sort of massing in forms and, and trying to get the, the overlap working, right? To sort of tell the story of, of like how, how big does everything sort of need to be? So if we, we can transfer like this rough size here, right? I can kind of look at where, right? If we sort of just do standard perspective stuff, right? So back here, this is how tall the line would be over here. So if we think about, right, a character or a standard character size, right? Standard character is about that big. Again, I don't need those for the future, right? But that's sort of good to know. Like a human character is probably about that big. So if we sort of look at, if there was a doorway here, right? The doorway would be about that big. A window, right, might be about that big. Again, that's just gonna give us a rough idea of scale. So again, here. Again, like, all right, if there was a person over here, they might be that big. Does that make sense? So the idea there is to slight, like to some degree, it, it's like massing out these things in my mind, right? I'm like, well, that's how big a person is there. So if I was to, you know, draw, uh, you know, something over here, like that's how big it is. So part of, part of it is, is like building these ideas in, you know, again, in, in our minds so that we, we start to kind of understand what's going on. And I think part of what that like first sketch didn't have or doesn't have is like, you know, kind of like a hero, a hero image or, or something to kind of, um, sort of grab onto it, it, and, and it kind of just sort of leads us through which is not necessarily the worst thing because we, we don't necessarily want it to be like this is the destination it, it's kind of like maybe again the destination is the path right so it's like again there is that sort of you know path there although again we, we're not there won't be a path because it's old. Um, but again, we're going to have some kind of architecture or something there. So I'm sort of making these, I have this up on a separate screen and I'm checking at that sort of smaller scale, what's kind of happening. I feel like, yeah, I, I do feel like sort of, right, almost having this as like, a, as like an endless place that people are going is kind of interesting, but maybe there could be some mountains or, or other things going on. So again, I'm like, is, is there clouds? Uh, are they going to be able to play like an interesting sort of part in, in, in that sort of composition? Who knows? Um, so there's a big building here. We've kind of got this thing. I wasn't sure whether this is like, are these trees are they like what what are they but i've thought more it would be probably more interesting to kind of have like again tree roots and things kind of growing out of the the ruins right so it's like very obvious that that's kind of happened so all i'm doing now is is basically thinking about blobs right there's sort of blobs of things um
and I'm just trying to make sure that yeah, I don't sort of confuse or overwhelm these characters here. So like maybe they could be some kind of trees or things here that might help me sort of block in the, right? Like keep those characters separated. If we sort of zoom out. And have some sort of similar stuff here. Again, to me, it, it's all just about filling the space and, and putting stuff in, in sort of a logical, logical location. Um, so yeah, not really sure what sort of architecture we want to put there. Um, yeah, again, there's probably sort of like lots of different sort of options we could, and we could kind of use, but it'd probably be good to get some sort of reference for that. Really think about it a, a little bit more. Um, but I'm just going to sort of try and put some stuff in and again, sort of focus a little bit more on the ruins, the ruin sort of side of it. Cause to a certain degree, it's like, you know, maybe we don't need to really know how all of it would have, how all of it would have looked. Um, cause I think originally it had a bit of like a, a sort of, uh, um, yeah, sort of Japanese inspired building style to some of those things. Not sure whether I want to keep that or not, but again, to a certain degree, I'm, I'm like, well, if I just sort of play around, all right, we might sort of find some interesting things if we sort of just play around with primary form exploration again or it might turn out to be a giant mess it's it's okay because we can we can erase and to a certain degree you know it's not like we're doing design here this is more sort of illustration so um you know obviously if this is a design task you need to be able to replicate what we're doing if it's uh, illustration I, I might really only have to do this once and so in in that case it's much more about sort of yeah getting it getting it done and making sure what is there sort of works um which is yeah very 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 different very, very different idea. So the idea is this would have been a street. So I can start there. What do I know? Well, again, if this was sort of some sort of street, again, we can, you know, try and make that a bit more logical. I can maybe put like a fountain or something there, right? So it feels more, right? Like, like, oh yeah, there was actually people here. And again, on the other side of this, right? Maybe I'm gonna have a similar, let's get rid of that person, right? Similar kind of thing here. And I guess the other question would be like, well, it's it's an archway, but but wouldn't have wouldn't it have had a gate? Yes, so um, I guess the question would be, how does that work? How, how would a gate have been attached there? Because um, I think often this type of thing was, was like, um, 
you know, in sort of old medieval castles and things was a bit more, you know, like the the giant gate at the front was like a proper thing, you know, and you'd have your sort of, you know, that sort of portcullis or whatever it is. One of you guys probably knows what that was called. Yeah, so like, I mean, maybe one of those would be sort of interesting. I mean, that, that would make more sense why it was like such a huge, chunky thing. But again, I don't know whether those were sort of in the middle or, or what. But again, that might be something where you could... Again, I, I feel like the, the worry would be it kind of ruins the, the simplicity of that arch. I mean, you could, you could maybe have like, maybe there's some sort of ruined gate here. Something like that. That kind of tells that story. I mean, that might be that may, might be something that's interesting right maybe it's all kind of trashed and again there'll be sort of um, like maybe a lot of it would be just sort of vines and stuff but you'd be able to kind of tell oh yeah like something something went down there maybe we could kind of you know play that up um, you know overall have some sort of other bits and pieces again telling that sort of depth story that again it's not just sort of abandoned but maybe something kind of happened there once again it's hard to tell because there is something mysterious about it just being sort of abandoned right like that's often the you know that's often part of the story that you know happens in those old sort of pulp fantasy adventures is that people just kind of find this magical city there and it, you know, it's kind of just deserted. Like what happened? Um, yeah, that, that's, that's a tricky one because it's like, they're, they're both cool stories. Uh, I don't know. If you guys have got thoughts, let me know. Um, so also a possibility to kind of maybe have like some foreground elements that are, you know, really sort of coming down. Right. So some sort of leaves. I think I did, I did a similar sort of arch where this is obviously like an idea that's in my head, right? Like the idea of having like a million kind of archway things. It's like that, yeah, we again, you're entering a threshold of something that's kind of completely decrepit. But again, that might be also be a good way to kind of help show the depth, right? Sort of have. Things kind of hanging down. And also just a good way to kind of break it up. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether I, I kind of like, like maybe, maybe one or two things or, or maybe like there's, maybe it's the idea that sort of once you enter the threshold, it's like more mysterious, right? So again, I, I just like the idea of maintaining the clarity of this archway, right? So the archway is kind of pure. 
again, I don't know why. I don't don't have a good reason for that. And yeah, and once you get here, it's kind of just a magical city, and you don't know why. It's deserted. I kind of like that idea the most. All right. So again, that's like, it's a pretty big, it's a pretty big sort of change, right? It's like, which, which way do you go? Is it, is it ruins or is it deserted? Because they're, they're not the same. So again, just trying to figure out which, right, like what sort of architecture to put there. But if we just do a sort of a, you know, a standard kind of, again, kind of fantasy look. So again, it's, it's not ruined, it's just deserted, right? Like people just sort of left. I'm not sure why. I feel like this need this wants to be more like a right more like a tower. So again, being super sketchy, just trying to sort of find ideas that sort of work well and and trying to sort of see you know can we just get a level of complexity of of these sort of little details going that that makes sense but i like the idea that again it's kind of a right that maybe there's sort of there was some type of organization or you know trees or planting there that that felt like it was sort of sophisticated right so there's like a geometry to it right like sort of rows of trees planted and and, and those sorts of things and then again in some areas it's just kind of chaos so I'm playing around with the idea of maybe having like a, no, I feel like, yeah, this needs to just be in the standard normal perspective. And Again, that's just going to sort of stick out here. So just playing around, right? Like it's just ideas. Um, you know, I'm just not, I'm not doing it with photo bashing or, you know, any of those sort of things. I, I'm not doing it in, in, in Blender or, you know, any of those sort of, you know, how, how you would normally sort of see people do it like Simon or Ned or someone else working in a more modern sort of concept design thing. It, it's all I'm doing is just drawing and scribbling and messing around and kind of seeing 
what different sort of shapes look like, right? So that's that's not going to work because that's a bad sort of tangent. So again, like that's the size of, of a person. Like I guess one question is like, well, is this building too big? Uh, what was my process for the for the spaceship? Um, let me, so I think, yeah, Lewis was just, I'm assuming you're talking about the one that I sort of posted on ArtStation. So like, like that one, is that the one you mean? Yeah. Um, so yeah, the, the process was basically, if we sort of look at it, the process was do some rougher sketches than this, block it in in 3D, um, then drove it again. So it's, it's a matter of like at some point transitioning to 3D so that we can sort of spin it around and make sure the front view and the back view look the same. But that's really the only sort of reason I normally use the 3D. So do a bunch of sketches, find one that's good. And then, um, you know, what I do is build like a very, very basic version of it in um, 3D. You know, so like just sort of old school poly modeling version of it and just spin it around, make sure the proportions right. And then I kind of render it out, I guess, like this, right? Like front, back, and I just do a draw over of it and try and add all the detail. Then if that gets approved, I'll go back and basically try and add those details to the basic model, right? So add more detail to the, to the model and then go over and do another drawing based on that. So this is probably what you're seeing there. So this is after a few iterations, get to this stage. And once I get to that stage, then I sort of try and replicate that in 3D, which is not something I do a lot of, but in this case, right, that's sort of what I did. And, you know, so try and model not all the details. So there's a lot of paint over here, but, you know, the sort of the rocks and the, a lot of the articulation. So making sure that these would actually move down and stuff like that. Um, doing all that kind of nonsense, make sure that these would sort of move in, make sure everything kind of lines up. And then, so it had some, it had some, like it had textures and stuff. It looked pretty decent in game, like, sorry, not in game, but in the, you know, in engine, in the, um, what do you call it, in EV, right? Which is kind of what I was prototyping it in Blender. Um, and then basically I just render that out and make it look shiny, right? Like add, add a lot of, add a little bit more material stuff, all that kind of thing. But you can see like, you know, if you sort of look close, it, it, there's like a lot of stuff and most of that's all in 3D. So it was pretty detailed. All this stuff was there in 3D. Um, I think this was basically just drawn by hand. This was drawn over the 3D. But most of it was kind of made up. And these were kind of 3D scenes that had a lot of paint over to them. But yeah, um, but yeah, I haven't I haven't done that before. So that, I, I was just kind of using the process that other people have, right? Like I wasn't really, I haven't really done it enough to really innovate or, or add anything that interesting. So again, here we've kind of got this, this thing. So I'm going to try. Try a few more ideas for how we can ideate this. I'm going to set that to multiply. 
set this to normal. And I'm just going to see like what. Need another layer in here. Yeah, I'm just like, what, what are these shapes going to look like, right? So that's the question. Because so far, I'm just not super jazzed about this interior like space. I just don't think it's that interesting. Yeah, because it doesn't look, it just doesn't look sort of very epic. So part of me is kind of, where have we got that? Let's get all of this stuff out. Just go, I'm gonna go shift control J. Let's get rid of it. And where is it? I think there's like, that's back there. Where are we? This is here. Let's duplicate that just so I've got it in, in case and we'll just kind of right, erase out this. So the question is like, well, what's in there? Right? Like, what is this? Because I'm not 100% convinced that what was there was worth, worth saving. So I feel like, again, we need that sort of same pathway. But I just think that it was kind of, it wasn't that interesting. And also, I feel like it was just sort of flat, right? And it would be good to kind of have more. like more vertical and like up and down movement to it, right? So if you think about again, right, we had our little sort of person here, right? But back here again, like these things are gonna be sort of huge. Just iterate on that. And Again, just see if we can sort of come up with something that's more interesting. And again, we can do as many iterations of this as we as we need. But the idea here is that this is sort of within the walls, right? So right, and that this is sort of direct. But maybe again, the idea is maybe we can have more parallax, right? And more like depth, right? So question is where do we right where do we go from here right we go there I guess the more like thresholds the more the more stuff we can have that, that makes it interesting the better Right, so if we sort of think about just what we could add to this. So I'm just thinking about like how, right, it's like an it's an entrance and it's got to feel as if we're sort of going to be able to travel 
a, a, a long way. So again, I think doing, um, yeah, also changing the, the, the verticality of it means that it's a lot easier to fake the scale because we don't really know, like once it sort of moves down or up, we don't really, we lose the, the solid sort of scale here from the horizon line a little bit more. So you actually, you can sort of fudge stuff better basically. Um, but I'm thinking here more, right? Sort of more terracing, right? Will allow us to sort of tell the story, right? So it's less about, um, it's less about just entering a flat nothing, right? And more about there being sort of some sort of terraced areas. I actually did. And often it's tricky because I'm like, I'm sort of trying to match something that I kind of already did, right? So I did this, you know, Right, I did like some, like often with architecture and stuff. Like the the, the point is, I, I've only got a few things in my head when it because you know I don't have this giant visual library for for architecture, architectural things. Um, so often, if if I'm imagining something. It's, it's often based on that sort of same sort of generic look. And uh, it's good to just make sure I'm like not trying to achieve something that I've kind of already achieved. Because um, this type of thing is dangerous. I've, I've already, you know, I, I've done, I, I've done, I, I drew this so long ago, that little thumbnail that this is based on. Um, like 10 years ago. And yeah, we don't want to like, but like the, my, what, what I think about, you know, what it should look like is kind of half caught up in that. You know, I'm like, oh, I remember doing that. Yeah, this is kind of what it's going to feel like. And um, that makes it sort of tricky to respond to what's actually happening. Right. So then there's sort of, like what, what's actually happening here? What what would look interesting here? Would would it be better if it's more intimate, right? Like we we're just sort of entering like a little weird space, or is it going to be better if it's sort of epic? It's hard to say. But again, I think before that the issue is like there wasn't quite as much one, two, three read. So I'll try this and probably once we sort of get through like a few ideas for this, um, we'll probably um, have to call a day today and we'll sort of see that'll allow me to kind of think about it, and work on it a bit maybe. Um, outside the stream. Did you just turn off? Oh yeah. What well, I was gonna say, I can hear I can hear background noise there. <laughs> so that, you ready to end the stream? No, not not quite yet. No, no. I, I think I was just saying like um probably at probably at three still. It's like a good sort of time, one to one to three. Okay. Um yeah, yeah. No, I was just sort of thinking like um yeah, I, I think that'll that'll be plenty. That's all I was saying. Um, and so once I've done that, I'll have, I'll have an opportunity to think about the architecture and be like, is this actually what I want? Um, doing this kind of stuff is tricky on a, on a stream because, you know, even if I'm pre-recording a tutorial or something, I'll very often just sort of take a break. You know, I'll just like sort of come back and think about it, you know, when I'm sort of done. 
and that will allow me to, yeah, you know, like have that sort of double, double take. Um, whereas it, it is hard to make decisions. It's very easy doing these demos to kind of make average decisions. So we'll, we'll, once I'm, once we finish this around sort of three, add lead time. Yeah. Then um, we'll come back the next time, which I think will be, um, I think the idea is that will be next Tuesday. I don't know what date that is, Ray. Today's date? Uh, no, no, next Tuesday. What what the date will be next Tuesday. First so, of, of February. Right. Yeah, yeah, cool. So we'll, um, yeah, so we'll do another one then on Tuesday. Will that be, that, that be, uh, no, I think that'll be, that'll be the week after. I think next Tuesday is the 25th. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, so we'll do basically come back uh, on Tuesday on the 25th at sort of one to three again and we'll sort of keep keep chipping away at it cool and um, again so these, these are just little sort of sketches right we, we, we go into more detail and you know actually kind of add a bit more perspective and stuff if if we need to. Um, yeah, it, it's it's really important to have that time, right? To to kind of come back to it, just be like, wait, did this suck or not? Like what is the What is the general consensus? Because you know, very often, you know, I'll, I'll come back and you know have have a you know a second look at these things and you know just throw it away. Um, whereas you know, I think it's often it's easy to do the other thing as well, where you know you kind of like like I have been just throw stuff away and be like, ah, you know, let let's try something else. Um, and then you know, half the time I'll sort of go back to that. Um, that first idea and be like, well, why did I throw that away? That was kind of fine. All right, so that's going somewhere there. And Because uh, again, it's easy to get, uh, you know, you get sucked into the megalomania of designing buildings and it's like, oh, this is cool. Then you kind of zoom out and just think about, again, like the, the overall kind of story and stuff. And yeah, it's not always... Not always that interesting um, in the context of everything else. But again, the, even though it's like a lot of fuss to do this, right? Like, you know, there's like a lot of, it's like, oh man, there's a lot of silly little buildings and things. Typically what you find is if, you know, if we kind of figure this out, you know, like if, if we get this sort of looking half decent and there's heaps of depth in there, it's really friggin' easy to make it look good. 
because there's just so much existing depth, right? There's so much stuff there that is already kind of working. Um, you know, and there's just tons of parallax and things overlapping things, overlapping things that, yeah, it kind of all works. So the idea here again is to kind of maybe have some of this sort of be a little bit sort of overgrown as well. But, it, but we don't have to fully worry about that, about that now. Yeah, so I'm like, oh, okay, well, that kind of works. So we've got like from a compositional standpoint, I feel like we've got a nice balance here between a nice balance here. Um, you could maybe kind of just try having some sort of negative space, right? So really sort of detail this up. And then kind of have this bit as like, so again, the idea is they're sort of entering into something, right? And and, I, and again, I, I want the feeling of, again, this is a common theme you see, right? Where I'm sort of doing the same sort of idea. I often do this same idea in, in images. I think I've got one that's half finished that's sort of quite similar to this as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, that, the idea here is that sort of this, this wall here sort of represents the fact that this thing is kind of in a valley or something, which is, a bit, is again, is like a very sort of standard idea. Um, so again, maybe there's like a few little, right, like sort of huts or things on the, I think those are going to be way smaller, hey? Got to really get that scale going, All right? Maybe there's like a few little things here or there. Again, maybe like some things here. Hard to know. I kind of like, again, it might, might be like maybe that kind of, look out things. Hard to know. Again, it's very easy to sort of kill the lily, right? Just add stupid stuff that doesn't doesn't need to be there. But maybe if there was some sort of repetition. Nah. Get rid of that. I think it feels better if it's kind of like, because again, like this feels a bit more as if it's kind of just, you know, like magically sitting in, in the middle of, of nowhere. It's like, what is this thing doing that? I think there has to be some, right? Some sort of element of that, right? Maybe there's like a big sort of entrance here. So again, maybe a few sort of buildings here. Again, got to remember this, right? That's like a, a terrace, right? So we've got terrace, terrace, and then we've got to tell the story, right? Of this actually kind of dipping, dipping down. So maybe it's better if I don't show that there, right? Maybe that's like, Some other buildings over there. Yeah, hard to say. Again, those are, those are kind of like subtle, subtle details. It's really hard to know whether that's gonna make a difference, right? Like, is there more stuff behind there? Because again, part of what I'm trying to do is tell the story of like how much stuff is there. Um, like 
like, is there anything behind them here? Hard to tell. So anyway, that's the kind of stuff I would sort of arm and R about, right? It's kind of worth, right? It's kind of worth really considering getting that stuff right. Um, again, maybe like another sort of secondary arch or sort of bridge or something like that down there. Again, that feels like that's that's the destination, right? Like that's kind of where we're that's where we're going. Although again, the balance is good here to have this kind of clean, clean thing. So anyway, that that's probably what I'll sort of ruminate on, right? That's what I'll be um, spending the, the intervening sort of time figuring out. Obviously we can have some sort of foreground stuff here. And as I said, right, really work the idea of there being, right, that this is not a touched sort of area that's been sort of entered so we can tell that story separate to the you know the other stories here right but yeah um so again that's just one we could um you know I, I don't know how long we sort of spent doing that but certainly we can um yeah we can really sort of you know, iterate on that, right? I could just be like, oh, let's start again and figure out what, figure out what we've got. Um, so yeah, um, anyway, I feel like that's probably where we need to, to think about leaving it. If we, if I kind of, what's that? If that's there, let's make this it. I'll, I'll just, um, I'll just not, doesn't have to be straight away, Ray. I'm still thinking, but in terms of like where we leave the image, I think that's probably, that's probably all we need. Um, yeah. So I think um, someone's saying in the chat, the new YouTube videos have been helpful. Thanks. I appreciate it. Yeah. Let, let me know if you've got, if, if anyone has questions or, or things that they think would make good YouTube videos, please let me know. Do you know what I mean? Hit me up in the, in the comments over there. Because yeah, I'm spending a fair amount of time sort of thinking about that stuff of late. Yeah, but I, um, again, this is probably where we'll kind of leave it. Come on, Photoshop, you can keep up. Nope. Yeah, so when, once you start, <laughs> once you start playing with file sizes that are this big, again, even if it's just line, it can really, really chug the system down. There we go. So again, this gives us a good idea of like what the, the overall sort of thing would look like. And again, we can kind of think about maybe like some clouds in the background or something. Again, I sort of had that rough idea give things some directionality. Again, this is just rough. And I mean, the other thing we were sort of playing with was again, this idea of these, right? These kind of lighter areas. And I think that is something that we could and should play with so just making sure like again this will be 
right? Some of these will be light and we've got the idea that the light is kind of coming from the left, right? Sort of picking up some of these things, right? So if we think about the light, it, it's going to be something, right? Sort of something roughly like that. That's kind of what we'll be looking at. So anyway, that's the idea. I'll, I'll, I'll have a think about this, maybe try and see if I can come up with a more interesting sort of destination. Um, and we play around with that sort of later. Again, if you're spending this much time on an illustration, it is worth figuring all those things out, right? Making sure that stuff is, is all working, you know, because because otherwise, it, if it's not interesting enough, then we'll just you will just end up having to, you know, spend the time elsewhere, you know, fussing around, trying to make, you know, the drawing really sort of good or something. If the idea is good, it, it kind of gets us, um, gets us most of the way there. If the, um, if the idea is good, if, if the concept is good, if, if it's interesting. So yeah, that's kind of what, and again, like maybe we'd have some stuff coming down here. I don't know. Again, that does tell the story of it being kind of a bit over, overgrown. And I think one of the keys is like probably needing like or wanting to sort of replicate the arch in some way so that it feels like, again, that, you know, there are these kind of archways there. So again, you know, maybe having some, that's actually quite a good idea try and do that right just sort of indicate to myself let's make sure that we've got like a, an archway or like again the same kind of sort of arch at the top of things that really helps bring all those things together so again you can see with the process here it, it's nothing sort of fancy or, or hyper linear it's a mix of sort of doing one thing. And then, um, you know, again, if, if I felt like all of these elements were going to work okay, right, without, you know, without me adding the tone and kind of planning it out, then, then I would, you know, again, I sort of said we don't need a, a value plan. But again, sometimes you kind of look at it and it's like, eh. but do we, do we though? But yeah, anyway, I think that's the basic idea. Um, I think it should turn out pretty pretty well. Um, yeah, but we'll, we'll keep playing around with it. Um, keep sort of, you know, maybe doing some, some more prototyping, as I was saying, right? Thinking about where we're going to place darks and lights. Again, it can be really important to kind of, you know, figure all that stuff out. Um, in that in that sort of thumbnail phase because because it just kind of will instantly tell us like oh yeah you know that kind of works um, but yeah anyway I'm doing that on the wrong layer which is not a good idea we need to do that on here but that's all I got for today everyone thanks for tuning in we'll catch you next week on Tuesday at one um, again we'll do similar sort of time go for roughly sort of two hours probably you know end up with about one and a half hours of actual sort of demo and i think the idea is to do sort of a session of four so we'll do a couple more um after that on thursdays and tuesdays again at this sort of same time so we'll catch you then um awesome <laughs>